When you call 911, you want help right now. Nashville is upgrading to technology that's supposed to pinpoint exactly where you are when you call from a cell phone. But our News 4 I team's Nancy Amons found the upgrade does not work with a major cell service provider, one with millions of customers. Nancy, the 911 center didn't know that until your test. And that's exactly right. We're at the 911 Center live right now. And we found this by trying to test how well it worked on the mobile phone tracking technology they just installed. Very odd that it works perfectly well on my work iPhone. Didn't work at all on my personal iPhone. So we decided to put it to the test. 911, what's the address of your emergency? I'm, I'm not sure. Misty West needed help fast. Her SUV was rear-ended on the interstate in January. So he hit me pretty square right here. The other driver, she said, begged her There's not to call no the police. Way. He was a sex offender with no driver's license. The problem, she couldn't tell 911 her exact location. There's housing on one side and a scrapyard on the other. This is 911. So Nashville's 911 center deployed its newest tracking technology to find her. There's only one problem. It didn't work. That's scary. A News 4 I team investigation discovered Nashville's newest 911 technology called Rapid SOS doesn't always work the way the 911 center expected. And we found it doesn't work at all with one of the nation's largest cell phone carriers. Rapid SOS uses the GPS system in your smartphone to pinpoint your exact location, the same way as Uber or Lyft. It's more accurate than the old system of pinging off a cell phone tower. The I team wanted to put the system to the test, so I brought a bunch of phones, some Android, some iPhone, even a flip phone. The first surprise? Their old system roughly found all the phones, even that old flip phone. No way! But their brand new technology? Well, that was the second big surprise. Rapid SOS picks up an iPhone on Verizon, but when we test the same type of phone on Sprint... What's happening? Uh, don't know the answer to that. The new technology doesn't pick me up at all. It's on the Sprint network. Does, that, does the network make any difference? Shouldn't matter. I have no idea why, because it doesn't matter what, who the carrier is. Turns out she's wrong. Rapid SOS confirmed the system doesn't work on certain carriers, and Sprint is one of them. Why? Sprint in particular um, cannot send voice and data at the same time on their network today. The problem isn't just in Nashville, it's across the whole country. Robertson says Sprint uses an older technology. If you're on a phone call, you don't have internet access, unless you're on a Wi-Fi. I didn't know where I was. So what about Misty West's case? Her phone is on AT&T. 911's old system picked her up, but Rapid SOS didn't. You just never know with technology. So you still have some bugs to work out. We do, we do, we definitely do. Now, Sprint wasn't the only carrier that we found a problem with. After the Sprint thing that we found, we went back and tested two more cell phone uh, carriers. They total have about 35 million customers each. You're going to see the results of that test tomorrow night at 10. Nancy, I'm curious, what does Sprint say about this? Well, we called their media department, but uh, reached out to them a couple of times, but we haven't heard back yet. Nancy Amons tonight, thank you. To give Rapid SOS the best chance of working on your smartphone, you should update your phone's operating system. On an iPhone, it needs iOS 12 or later. On an Android version 4 or later. Check out our News 4 app for details on how to check your phone.